Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Saro van Grenen aka Mr. VG and in this video we are specifically going to look at the division of algebraic expressions. But before we can dive into this video, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome! If you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and make sure that you get notified of all the amazing content that is to come. Also, log in to juniorturkey.online. Juniorturkey.online. There you're going to find amazing content just for you. And it's free of charge. So, let's look at the vision of expressions. Before we can really get into it, there's some pre knowledge you need. Again, you need bed mass or pod mass. Bed mass. Remember, I replaced that O with the E because we are going to work with exponents a lot in your high school career. So first brackets, then you handle the exponents, then division and multiplication. Yes, how fast can I say that? That's amazing. And then addition and subtraction or addition and subtraction if as a normal people, it's normal people, a normal person would say that. But also you need the basic exponential law number two. Now the basic exponential law number two says that if I divide powers, so I divide x's, then I subtract the exponent. In other words, x to the 3 divided by x to the 2 is x to the 3 minus 2 which leaves me with x to the power of Juan, my favorite Mexican. It's a real bad dad joke, that. Now, what if I give you x to the 3, y to the 2, divided by x, y? Well, then I just subtract the corresponding x's and the corresponding y's exponents. So that leaves me with x to the 2 times by y. Of course, you need the integer rules, and these we went through at length in the previous video as well. But with division, if I divide a positive by a positive, it gives me a positive. A minus divided by a minus is a positive. Positive divided by a negative or negative divided by a positive gives me a negative. The, this pre-knowledge you need to make sure you've got. So what if I look at these three examples. Simplify. 16x squared over 4x. Well, first of all, I'm going to look what goes into 16 and into 4. Well, 4 goes into it. 4 goes into itself once. Let's just show that for the viewers. And into 16 four times x to the 2 minus 1, because I'm applying the second exponential law by the x's, and that leaves me with 4x. Before I can get to the second one, ladies and gentlemen, we must first remember that there's some awesome stuff we can do with fractions. If I look at 18 minus 6 plus 9 over 3, the first logical thing you could do is say, but so I can add the top and just divide it by 3 and the answer is 7. Yay! Woo! That's perfect if you can do that. But again, what if you can't add the numerator? Well, I could simply split it up. So say 18 over 3. Minus 6 over 3 plus 9 over 3. Let's see if it works out. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. If I add that up, it gives me 7. Which is the same we got in the red block. That's fantastic. Well, we are going to use this principle to answer these two sums. So first of all, when I looked at that 5x squared uh, minus 25 divided by 5, I'm going to split it up. I'm going to say, well, it's 5x squared over 5 minus 25 over 5. 
And now I'm just asking myself, well, what is 5 divided by 5? That's 1x squared minus 5 goes into 25. 5 times leaving me with that specific answer of x squared minus 5. The last one is a typical exam question. I love to ask this. But all I have to do is, again, split it up. So I'm going to take the 3x squared and divide it by negative 3x. Then I'm going to take the negative 6x and divide it by the negative 3x. And then I'm going to say, well, positive 3x cubed over negative 3x. Now, one by one, I'm going to handle these terms. Let's start with the first one. Okay. A 3 goes into itself once and into 3 once, but there's a negative. So it's negative. Then I'm going x squared over x to the 1. Well, that's x to the 1. But remember, I don't have to write that 1 there. I can just say negative x. Then a minus divided by minus is a plus. 6 goes into 3 twice. And the x's just disappear. They don't really disappear. They just divide away. So they don't really disappear. But now I'm going to do the same with that back expression, the back term. Positive 3 over negative 3, that is negative 1. x squared divided by x, remember you can apply the second exponential law. And that gives me x to the 2. Man, an amazing sum, an amazing video watched by amazing people. Please tune in to our next video where we're going to look at one of the main reasons we do algebraic expressions, which is substitution. So have a beautiful, amazing and gorgeous evening. Keep yourself safe. Please tune in again next time. This is Mr. VG signing out. Cheers.